Yeah, we want. Okay, now I think we go to Megan. Is it right? Is that right? He has no gas. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Uh, no, he isn't friendly. Probably. Hey, 
hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce uh. on your little girl. Then we do what you say. We toss him out and save the group. Lee? What the fuck, man? What other choice is there? Finally, someone gets some sense. But we can't wait. We are tossing them out now. Um, um, uh, no. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <coughs> Attack or what? I told him what. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Okay. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, great. You're insane. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? Great. What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. Here Why is he the kid? I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, there is something. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything. Yeah. And the paper? Central high tech state. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Okay. I talk to the girl. Carly. A pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You handle yourself well. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eating about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. 
She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, Death Guy saved you. Guy saved you. Yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are, they were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. 